Queen Creek, Arizona is one of the fastest growing communities in the entire country. And with an admitted focus on families and quality of life, last August, the town broke ground on a brand new 85 acre park. It's called Frontier Family Park, and it's located off of Signal Butte Road, north of Queen Creek Road. You know, at 85 acres, this park will be the largest park in the town of Queen Creek. And at the groundbreaking ceremony, uh, the vice mayor of Queen Creek, Jeff Brown, said, not only do our parks provide an opportunity to get outside and be active, but they're also a great place to get to know your neighbors and continue to make Queen Creek such a welcoming place to call home. Now, this park is set to open in early 2024, and the park is actually going to feature a large play area, kind of similar to the one at Menzel Carter Park. There's going to be a five-acre fishing lake. They'll have six lighted, full-size ball fields with 315-foot fences. There's going to be a bunch of different picnic areas, three multi-purpose fields, a splash pad, two basketball and volleyball courts, and then it's all going to be encompassed by a one and a half mile multi-use path that's actually going to span the perimeter of the entire park. Now, I've never played pickleball, but apparently it's kind of a big deal. So for those of you who love it, well, you're in luck. There will be 24 pickleball courts. I would say about 99% of my pickleball practice is just visualization. You know, I don't even need a paddle or a ball for anything. I, 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 most of it's just up here. You know, with Menzel Carter Park and the expansion going on there and some of the other parks that we have here in town, you might be wondering, why do we need yet another park? Well, you know, that's a great question. And with the parks that we currently have, we often find that they're filled to capacity with people out just enjoying the great outdoors. Also, in a 2021 citizen survey, the town found out that 81% of Queen Creek residents reported that they had visited a town park within the past year but 33% said that they go to the park more than 10 times a year. You know, that sounds like a lot of people using the parks, right? So if they're that full all the time, I guess we do need another one. And actually, I've seen some plans where there might even be more parks coming down the road. But that's a video for another day. But last June, this park hit its very first major milestone, and that is they actually filled the lake with water. Now, they're going to stock the lake with fish, and they've actually built these natural like fish habitats that are in the bottom of the lake to kind of give the fish a more natural type of environment and maybe you've heard of all the water issues going on and maybe you're thinking where's the water for the lake going to come from i've got an answer for you so just like the lake at manzel carter park the frontier family park lake is actually going to be filled with reclaimed water so in other words the water that you use at your home will go through a treatment process and then it uh, ends up in an aquifer. Now from there, it's pumped into the lake and then the water in the lake will be pumped into the park to be used for irrigating the grass and the plants and whatnot. But wait, there's more. In a separate survey in 2021, 75% of the respondents indicated that they'd like to see an aquatic center and a rec center as well. Well, guess what? The northeastern portion of Frontier Family Park will include a recreation and aquatic center, and it's also slated to open sometime in 2024. Now this recreation slash aquatic center are actually gonna include various amenities such as indoor sports courts for things like basketball, volleyball, and well, you guessed it, more pickleball. It will also have a fitness area with general fitness equipment, including beginner and recreational levels. There'll be fitness rooms for group fitness, a large conference or event room, a teen gathering room, child care, and even more classrooms. Now, the Outdoor Aquatic Center, it's going to have a zero depth entry play pool. There'll be a competition lap pool. There'll be a lazy river, slides, and there's even a space for birthday parties. Now, groundbreaking for the Aquatics and Rec Center took place back on May 16th, and at that time, Mayor Julia Wheatley said, in an area where we have 100 degree temperatures more than 100 days of the year, it's just so thrilling to be able to offer an aquatic center for our residents outdoors, as well as a rec center for our residents indoors. Now, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but today is October 22nd, and it's the very first day that we're 
not expect it to hit 100 degrees or more. So I think we finally got summer behind us. But that's a video for another day as well. So you've seen this park, you know what's coming, and now you want to move to Queen Creek, right? Well, we would absolutely love to help you. We offer free consultations. I'll put my contact information at the end of this video, but there's an even easier way. In the description of the video, I put a link. Just click on that link, and you'll be able to schedule your own private Zoom call with me. Again, my name is John Farron, and together with my wife, Angie, we are the Farron Group at Home Smart Lifestyles here in Queen Creek, Arizona. Thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate your support, and you know what? We'll be back soon with another video.